The condition of a comic book is vitally important in determining its value. The following is a list to help you determine the various conditions. The Comic Buyer's Guide is published weekly by Krause Publications of Iola, Wisconsin. It'll help you find out the value of comic books, how to buy and sell by mail, and what you need to know to keep abreast of everything happening in the hobby. You'll be able to find the latest issue at your local comic book store. Along with Krause, there are other comic book guides and catalogs that range in subject and can satisfy the beginner or advanced collector. Krause also publishes a price guide. And along with Overstreet's official comic book price guide, you'll be able to determine the value of every comic book ever made. Comics are listed by year and title and are priced according to its condition. But remember, if you're selling your comic books, expect dealers to offer a lower price than listed. One of the best places to browse around and buy new and old comics is your local comic book store. Comic stores afford collectors a chance to develop a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the dealer. Comics uh, are no longer for kids. It's taken a tremendous turn for, uh, for adults. Uh, it's uh, a little more explicit, it's more graphic, and uh, it's, uh, uh, as I say, far more adult. The themes are adult, so that uh, um, you don't get uh, the average ch kid who comes in here to buy a comic book. We've had an influx of tremendous publicity from the movies, from the entertainment world, uh, from the Superman movies. Obviously, I mean, it's nonsensical to even mention the Batman movie. That's going to be at least three to five movies. You know, what you got going on there is, is a tremendous influx of that. So you have people coming in the store who would never dream of buying a comic book. This is, I want Batman. <laughs> uh, uh, and the other thing is, is it has become an investment item, which has drawn in a tremendous amount of new people into the field. And that, in turn, has caused comic prices to rise, because comics that you couldn't sell 20 years ago, you can't find today. Parents buy comics for their kids, parents buy comics for themselves. We have lawyers, we have doctors who look at it as an investment. Uh, comics can increase in value very quickly. and. Uh, people want to capitalize on that. It's, it's, it's like uh, stocks. Uh, they, want to, they want to get in. They want to get the, the popular titles. They want to ask me what's going to go up next <coughs> month, what's going to be of value. And that's what we do. We try to guide the, the people who are into it for the investor into the books that are going to increase in value. But then there's a whole other realm of the hardcore fan who's, going to, who's been buying for 20 years or 15 years, and they love the stories. They love the art. And it's like a, it's a marriage of between the two types of collectors. 
Well, there's so many comics to collect. I would say the first thing is find something you like. Find something you really appreciate more than, I mean, more than the, the, the intrinsic value, the, the, the monetary value of a comic. The personal value is, is, is a lot of it. I, I mean, I couldn't collect every single comic in the world, but there are a few titles that I collect religiously. Um, I'd say find a comic that you really like. Make it not something that you couldn't collect everything of. Make it uh, a feasible goal and, uh, and start collecting back issues. Collect all the current issues, of course, but see if you can uh, get a whole series together. This is a place you can come to all the time. The, the schedule of new books is pretty consistent. Uh, in fact, the, the schedule of any particular book is fairly consistent, especially from the major companies. And this will allow you uh, the, the amount of copies that a uh, store will carry will usually allow you to be sure you get a copy. And many stores offer a subscription service, whereas you can give them a list of the books that you collect and uh, they will pull them for you. So you can come in three, four, five days later. How do you start to collect anything? All right? You develop an interest in it, and then you want to pursue the interest. All across the country, collectors also look forward to weekend conventions. Collectors can find almost every comic ever made at these cons. You'll find that dealers specialize in certain categories of comics. You usually get your best buys at these shows, but remember to shop around because many dealers carry the same stock and prices may vary. At these shows, you'll also have a chance to meet some of the top illustrators and publishers and celebrities who've portrayed comic book characters. We're longtime uh, readers of comics and we enjoy the work that the professionals in the field are doing and this is a chance really for fans of comics and readers to get together with each other and also to meet some of their uh, favorites and that's the idea behind the convention. It's a social event, also a business event in a certain sense, but uh, more or less for everyone to get together and celebrate their love of comics and we've been doing this for many years and as fans ourselves it's really a pleasure to see all the people turn out to enjoy the show with us. Well, thanks for looking and listening. For the comic book collector, I'm Frank Gorshin. Also available in the collector's series, Baseball Card Collector, hosted by Mel Allen. <laughs>